usually every time we get Delta Ace stuff, it's just like, I feel like it's the same thing. These are actually different. They actually have changed their approach to to making something and I, I honestly love it. I think it's I think it's fucking amazing. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Craig, AKA Luke Highwalker. And on this channel, we smoke weed, talk about weed products and just kind of chill. If that sounds like something you'd be into, hit that subscribe button. It's like right the fuck here. Today's nickname brought to you by Alex, cash me outside. How about Miri? Get it? Cash me outside, how about Miri? That's his last name but in a funny way. Anyway, anyway, in today's video, these people from Hide Seek hit me up. That's that's what they're called. Not Hide and Seek, just Hide Seek. And they hit me up and they had these like Delta 8 disposables and they had so many of them. And I was like, yeah, just send them over. I'll check them out. I was unaware that these might be the best Delta 8 disposables I've ever had. <laughs> like real shit, these drones are amazing. They sent over two different kinds. There's um this kind, which is the mix, and this kind, which isn't the mix. And we're gonna go over the mixes today. We'll do these ones in a different video. They're like, they look kind of the same, but they're different. Like this one, you can see the liquid in it, and it has like this on off button. This one doesn't have any of that, but the airflow is phenomenal. Anyway, they sent this one in 10 different flavors. I'm just gonna rattle them off. Strawberry watermelon, strawberry kiwi, peach mango watermelon, tropical rainbow blast, clear, pineapple coconut ice, mixed berries ice, blue raz ice, peach ice, and watermelon ice. Those are the flavors they sent. Not gonna lie, I've been hitting these already. I tried the watermelon ice one, which was fucking delicious. And I tried this peach mango watermelon, which was also fucking delicious. Uh, so delicious that I've already run out of this one, actually. Like, they sent it not even that long ago. This one's completely dead. This one still has, I think, a little bit in it. I can't see the, the, the juice level, so I don't know. Anyway, something that makes these, the mix ones, different from any other Delta 8 that I've seen is they're made with, like, regular vape juice but not with nicotine. Like they're made with the same stuff that they make regular vape juice with, but then they add Delta 8 into it. So these are actually six milliliters. They're 150 milligrams a piece. This one's strawberry watermelon. We're gonna open this one up on camera just because this one sounds amazing. You open it up like that. It comes in this like little pack like this. You tear that open. That's just in there like that. You just pull it out. This one's a beautiful like kind of pink red color combo. Take the thing off the top. There's a thing on the bottom you gotta unpeel like that. And then you're good to go, you can just hit it. Oh my God, that tastes so good. <laughs> Strawberry watermelon for the fucking win. This thing is amazing. Um, shit, we should probably do like some sort of slow-mo. Cheers. It's gonna look silly, but. Little cough, <coughs> baby cough. I just realized that the the peach mango watermelon and strawberry watermelon are the same color combo. There is no difference between these two. They're both very Valentine's Day. -y. So they did. They sent us the, the mixed ones, which is what I just hit. The ones that literally just taste like fucking like flavored 
Gee, it's, 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 del it's delicious. They also sent us these ones. Um, this is their other line. These are three grams, 3,000 milligram, milligrams. And um, these are, these taste like the strains themselves instead of like these that taste like flavors. They sent us blue Skittles, banana runt, cereal milk, blueberry AK-47, and Gorilla Glue. I've been hitting this Gorilla Glue one, it's pretty fucking good. I do want to try some more of the flavors um, on camera. There's one I'm actually really curious about, which is just clear. I don't think that it's supposed to taste like anything. I think it's just supposed to taste like nothing and get you high. I like the uh, color combo on this. It's like, it's like my colors, it's like green, like greenish, bluish. Uh, this is where my heart lives. I love these colors. All right, um, take that off. Take this little thing out of the top. They put this little stopper in the top for you. That really just doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like air. Really? It actually kind of tastes good. It tastes like fresh air. We live in the city, so. It tastes oddly good though. It's like, it's like inhaling a cloud. See? It tastes good and like nothing at all. That's weird. <laughs> it tastes good, but it also tastes like nothing. Danny thinks it's weird. It's amazing. This might be my favorite one. Clear is good. Clear is fucking awesome. I also wanted to try, uh, which one next? Tropical Rainbow Blast. That sounds fucking dope. Tropical Rainbow Blast. Let's get it. We are trying some of these today, like a lot of them probably. Here we go. All right. Oh shit. I taste like fucking candy. This one's dangerous. It's so good. I wonder what flavors this is supposed to be. That one's really fucking good. Really, really good. Oh my God. Right? It's just like sweet. I don't even know what flavors they're supposed to be in there, but it's really good. It tastes like Wait. um Flintstone gummies. I mean, Flintstone- Vitamins? Vitamins, it yeah. Do, it does. And the best part is like, I'm pretty sure I've seen like a bunch of my friends walking around with vapes that look just like this that aren't like weed. So like, you could just take these out in public and no one would even know what they are. Even though like Dulce 8 is legal, like a lot of people still look down on like weed based shit, but like these don't look or smell like anything weed related. So like you could literally hit one of these like anywhere and I don't think anyone will give you any problems about it because they wouldn't even know what the fuck it is because it just smells and tastes exactly like a normal fucking vape. That really does just taste like candy. I mean, it is technically illegal to get high in public, so. These make it so that you can do that and no one will know. Exactly, and no one will even fucking know because they're, they don't look or smell like anything, you know what I mean? Like they don't look or smell like, like even these ones that they gave us, the other kind, these smell like like a normal weed vape. So like if someone knew what a weed vape smelled like, they, they'd know that you're smoking one. But like these, they would just smell tropical rainbow blast. And they'd be none the wiser. That's an old man term, none the wiser. They also each have like an indicator, like the, ra the tropical rainbow blast is a hybrid. Clear was a sativa. Strawberry watermelon was also a sativa. Strawberry kiwi is an indica. Let's try that out. You guys might notice I'm not going for the iced ones very much. I'm not huge on like menthol flavors, like menthol-y stuff. I used to smoke Newports, but I think that's probably why I don't lean towards menthol-y vape stuff. But anyway, strawberry kiwi. Oh, that tastes like bubble gum. That's really good. It doesn't really, the kiwi doesn't really come out that much. It's very strawberry gummy though. <coughs> I'm gonna be high as shit after this, <coughs> trying all these goddamn flavors. They're also rechargeable on the bottom, USB-C, so they're fast charging. And if you look to the other side right here, this is actually the airflow. So if you blow in there, it comes out that side. 
Vatrix. This is the last of the non-iced ones. I did try that watermelon ice one. The watermelon ice one was surprisingly really good. Maybe we should give another ice one a try. I don't know which one though. Which one do you guys think? Mix, mix berries, blue rasp, peach, water. Wait, we already had watermelon. That, it's empty already. That shit is fucking good. I love the color of this one. The green and pink? Yeah. <coughs> it's like a watermelon. <coughs> but it's strawberry kiwi. That one physically looks like a watermelon though. Because of the green to pink combo. Mm -hmm. Right? That shit is delicious. These are gonna get your boy in trouble because these are fucking good. <sighs> All right. Definitely not pineapple coconut. I don't like pineapple flavored things and I don't like coconut flavored things. I don't like coconut in general, honestly, so that's probably not gonna be it. I kinda wanna try blue raz ice or peach ice. Is that what you're saying? Here, you try the peach ice. I'll try the blue raz and we'll see how menthol, how menthol y they are. <laughs> We're just each unboxing these things, going crazy. We're crazy. <laughs> Yeah, the blue raz isn't bad. It's like very blueberry-y, I, I feel like. I feel like there's a lot of blueberry, a little bit of raspberry. Not much ice though, I don't think. Oh. I don't like that one. Yeah. You're not gonna like this one either. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this. I'm putting the sticker bag on and everything. Boom. Uh, like brand new. You like the peach one? Yeah. Yeah? It's really good. Oh, well, that's not bad. Peach isn't, peach isn't bad. The only one we haven't tried is the mixed berries. Those are the only, <coughs> the only one left. Might as well try it. Except for pineapple coconut, which I don't, I don't think I'm going to try. This is the, the pineapple coconut ice. Oh, that smells terrible. <laughs> smells like coconut pineapple. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, let's get it. Oh, it's so pretty. Very purple. Danny's favorite color is purple. So she's in love with this. She's probably not gonna like the way it tastes very much, but she loves the color combo. Correct. <laughs> it's not bad, actually. The ice ones don't really have a lot of menthol-y taste to them. Here. That's not bad. I think clear might be my favorite one though. Clear is surprisingly good. If we're not tasting like at anything at all, this is fucking amazing. All right, um, these are the hide and seek Delta 8 mix disposables. Uh, I don't know where you can find them. I emailed with them for like a couple of days. They sent them over and then Ever since that day when I've tried to hit them up, they've just ghosted me. So like I literally asked them if we had a discount code or like, you know, where you could pick these up because I went on their website and you actually can't buy them from their website. They are hide seek designed by Lost Mary. I also checked the Lost Mary site. I don't think you can actually buy stuff on there either for some reason. It's just like. I don't know, they have like wholesale options, but they don't have like consumer options. But I'm sure if you just like use your Google powers, you can find these somewhere and buy them if, you, if you're interested. But unfortunately I don't have any discount codes, but um, they're probably the best tasting Delta 8 vapes that I've ever had. So there's that, they're delicious, which usually doesn't happen with Delta 8 things, I feel like. Usually every time we get Delta 8 stuff, it's just like, I feel like it's the same thing. These are actually different. They actually have changed their approach to to making something, and I, I honestly love it. I think it's I think it's fucking amazing. I like it a lot. They're they're delicious, especially this this clear one for some reason. I don't know why this one is so good, but it is. I highly suggest trying to trying to find these. So since I don't know where you can get these, I will sponsor my own video today. Today's video is sponsored by Flippin' Loud Dot Store. You can check out my store and get merch that I've created with my own brain. And sometimes it's really good and sometimes it's not. Go check out the store and pick it up. I feel like there's something for everybody there. Like, 
I have weed merch, like weedy merch stuff. I have non weedy merch stuff. Like I feel like I've created something that everyone can be like, oh, that's cool and I like that. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that shit. Normal YouTubers tell you to do at the end of their videos. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace. If you were to look up professional football's all-time bonehead plays, you might read about a Miami Dolphin. <laughs>